Namaste. I'm Ashwara Bamadi. I'm introducing again a second year right student from NIT Silchar. For a brief introduction for our viewers, today we have with us the most beautiful brain behind the most heartfelt today, the director and writer of the web series, The Other Love Story. So ma'am, we are eager to know the journey that led to this creation of this unique love story from you today. The journey has been really... Could you share with us? Sure, Aishwarya. I mean, thank you, first of all, for inviting me. Uh, it's a pleasure and an honor to be here and talking Welcome. to you guys. Um, the journey is like, uh, specifically, do you want to say what journey? Because journey has been very immense. I mean, it started a decade ago. So I'll have to tell you the story of 10 years. So do you want to ask a sure. specific question? Or you can you can summarize it for us we we are eager to know about all about it okay so um uh you said heartfelt love story i like the way you introduced it you didn't use any of these jargons the lgbt or any such tags because that's exactly what i wanted to convey through this story like <laughs> just about two people two human beings um so the i must have written the story a long ago um, I have been writing since I was in ninth standard or eighth standard. So, uh, <laughs> so I must have written one episode. Like I just wrote one as a short film I wanted to make. So I wrote it long ago. But then I was just waiting for somebody else to make it because I didn't know how to make films. And I was um, with Infosys for six and a half years, and I resigned and I went to study films in. Um, in Delhi, I studied uh, filmmaking for it, it was a one year course that I did. And then I have uh, 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 interned and assisted a couple of documentary filmmakers in, makers in UK. And then I came back. I mean, of course, I didn't go study to make this film. I just went and studied films because I wanted to be making films. Uh, I love storytelling and uh, I, I love the power of stories. So yeah and like years later and nobody had ever made a movie which dealt with this relationship in such a way you know the last thing that we remember is what fire and some other movie exactly so i was like okay so i think it's best that we make it ourselves and um, so i shot a pilot episode like just to see if i can actually do it because you know it's a very d tricky story that we are trying to say and in a very tricky manner we are not showing it all out there you know it's a very subtle story and i wanted to see for myself if i can actually tell a story like that so we shot episode seven first uh and uh because it deals with finger kissing and all those things and then uh once the product was ready and when i saw it i was like yeah, i think we see it yes so yeah and that's how and and uh we were ready to make it, but then there was nobody who can fund it for us. So, and then we went, uh, we were, we started asking friends. And when we asked friends, then we were still short of a lot of money. So we went uh, crowdfunding, we did crowdfunding campaign. And the success of crowdfunding campaign is what kind of told us that we are ready for such a story in India. So, and here we are today. <laughs> wow, ma'am, that was an excellent to hear ma'am actually i have watched the whole series mm -hmm. and uh, i i just went through one of those videos that uh, defined the behind the scenes concepts like uh, where there was uh, there were the actors and there was you uh, but i want to know more about it like the more about the behind the scenes thing any specific yeah. memory that you want to share with us about how actually your voice is again getting delayed it's uh, it's coming delayed and it's getting break broken also uh, i'm 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 uh, so um, let's see so are you asking about the behind the scenes and the memories of uh, making this right yes okay. yes yes ma'am yes um there are I mean, every moment, uh, my memory is very strong. So for me, every moment, if I indulge, everything comes like it is just happening right now. So there have been, I mean, it was fantastic to, uh, it was very uh, tearing apart emotionally for me at the same time, because I, it was an independent production and we were doing it with very low budget. 
so the team the star, the cast and crew were so driven that there were many moments where i would feel will we be able to do it and these people will push me so when you are working in such an atmosphere and trying to create something and everybody is there because they want to really create this they are not there for money or anything else but they just believe in the story so much so when you have such atmosphere like an adventure for us you know like to go at every day shooting it was an adventure so there are many memories i mean uh, right from how we found actors to you know we went shopping including their costumes we we all would go to shop you know like to have it stitched how it was because we were set trying to create 90s right with a very small budget trying to create something that doesn't yes. exist that was a big challenge and which we were all looking forward to and for all of us it was a nostalgic trip because most of us in the crew we are all 90s 90s children you know we grew up in the 90s so for us it was you know wo karte hai ye karte hai ye bhi karte hai chalo cassettes dhoonte hai and so yeah it was more like we were just celebrating our own uh, growing up years one specific memory that i can think of is that when i fell off a uh, moving train i almost died so <laughs> yeah uh, <laughs> we were because we were shooting impromptu in the we didn't have permissions to shoot in railway station because it's very expensive to shoot on the platform or moving train so we were shooting you can click pictures you can't shoot video so since we had dslr camera so we could pretend that we are just clicking pictures and we shot it and this is going to be on air and the railway department if they get to know about it uh but then that was the only way we, for independent filmmakers it's <laughs> it's very difficult so we were shooting in real railway station in real train and uh, we were doing that scene when she is going away the last i was with the cameraman inside the train and we were supposed to shoot them all saying bye so they are all saying bye from saying bye from the platform and we are inside and the train picked up speed my cameraman jumped off and uh, so you are supposed to apply logic there you engineers know right you are supposed to jump opposite direction i yes, jumped yes, the moving yes, yes, train yes. direction and fell off inertia. yeah inertia so i fell because i was so stressed about shooting you know you are always on on uh, on the edge when you are shooting like that without permissions and all that so i don't know what how my mind functioned i jumped yes. towards the direction and i fell and i missed falling on track in like by few inches i i just got up everybody is they just ran and came towards me and uh, i want i didn't want we can't create a scene there right because again nobody knows that we are shooting so i had to just get up like pretend as though nothing happened but then i had uh, broken my wrist yeah <laughs> that was a fortunate incident though man yeah. uh, felt while watching the series was uh, though the episodes were only 7 to 8 minutes but the portrayal was very strong i mean anybody could get it very easily but uh, i since i watched every episode of it i just want to know the ending because uh, adya goes to meet archil she she might have even stayed in bombay for one day but then what after that like 3 years she has to 3 uh, months or 3 years she has to be there atal has to be in america so how do they finally even will there be a next and to uh, express that kind of thing to i personally i'm looking forward and i know many others are looking forward for the next is like that because we are very eager <laughs> even i want to the ashwarya the thing is the other love story was so special for all of us because of its innocence exactly because of its freshness and because it was set in the 90s so it was kind of unadult adult unadulterated you know there is no technology so they 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 seem more pure right once when they are leaving right so they must have spent a day in the train <laughs> and then they must have whatever you know she would have gone ahead whatever story i do after that it would remove the pureness out of it isn't it 
okay, because I get it. because we are already in digital era in 2001 cell phones have already come in yeah What? exactly i have yeah. to bring in cell phones i have to bring in internet the pureness will go away so i am still exactly. contemplating i have written something i'm still contemplating to leave them or should i continue if i continue it is going to be like <laughs> you know like what happens to first love story will we ever like do we go ahead and because you're really young yet you know you're still in your uh, graduation you will know as you grow in your life that not all first love stories end up um, in per se marriage you know they are not going to end up forever kind of thing it will be very untrue so should i be honest and separate them or should i be dramatic and keep them together i don't know so i am just leaving them like that okay ma'am ma'am actually uh, there was one more thing that i uh, particularly wanted to ask it was like uh, 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 like this story must have been uh, i i i personally feel that it's so the portrayal is so strong that i sometimes sense that it it must have come as an inspiration means i is it that you are is it the story that you have seen somewhere or is it just out of imagination uh no writer ever writes out of his imagination because there is nothing called imagination i yes, feel ma'am. because yes. our mind is just a bundle of memory and everything is permutation combination of your own memory so i can say it is fictional and it is real because there must have been a trigger for me to think in those lines right without the trigger how will i think but then i will not say that everything is straight out of somebody's life because you do make changes to make it dramatic you know like for cinema cinematic effect you do make lot of changes so i say that it is happened and it is not happened as well so i want to keep it as it is adya natal's story and it's yes, it's like that because i can say that like the essence the first love the terrace the love letters all that comes from my own story you know like my own life i have been in love in the 90s so i have used letters all that but do i did i know any adya natal that's for everybody's imagination <laughs> <laughs> yes sir uh, of course <laughs> ma'am uh, uh, specifically speaking up for the theme there the, the the audience has accepted it without any prejudice like we see the view viewers on youtube like everybody is going crazy no matter what we are, we can see it from and it ha- it has been even accepted i have even accepted a few french people who wanted to dub it even and i have seen like there were things like that so i mean there there's so much appreciation about art about about love about everything then uh, the uh, were there any obstacles too when you uh, in the beginning approach with the story to everybody like the first the moment the stepping stone that came as you there must be because oh, there uh, it's not uh, it's not always a rosy yes yes there, there are obstacles because, because yes yes ma'am because uh, india still does not accept as it is means they yeah. don't let simply be so how do how do you like to explain those obstacles that you went through um when i started the when i like discussed with my own friends it seemed okay because my friend minded and they we looked at it as an opportunity we looked at it as something that look it has never been done i think this is what we need to be telling you know it's happening but nobody is talking about it so we need to talk about it so when i first spoke to my friends they were okay so i thought oh okay so i think it's not that big a deal let's do it and uh, we were doing it in a very minimal budget so i i uh, like did a focus group kind of thing like a friend of mine she's uh, she like uh, she co- like facilitate such workshops such uh, events and all that so i requested her to arrange for a focus group so about 35 strangers came you know when we announced on facebook people came 35 strangers and they were all in approve of it i was like okay so one more step and people have a they're like you know more than happy to watch this but then the problem started from yes. there when i started approaching people for money 
approaching actors for uh, you know like to be part of it they would they would love it when when they saw you know when they would uh, see the uh, read the script they would love it but then they go home and uh, their parents would say no and they stop calling me i'm like what went wrong and that is when i started understanding understanding the moment you step away from your own comfort zone people are still looking at it differently you know in my head it never came as anything horrible or wrong or anything but that is when i got the reality check and that is what actually told me that we have to do it you know like educated kids like i was looking for actors in the same age group uh i like college age group who are still do you still have to go ahead and take permissions from parents to do anything so i was like okay so my approach is wrong i should not be looking for actors of the same age group i should be looking for actors who can decide on their own but who look younger so i started changing my approach accordingly you know and uh, obstacles have i mean major obstacle was people love the story when i ask would you fund it uh, no will there be a lot of sex scenes because you know it's about uh, two two girls and what sells is sex scenes between them so would you have many i would say no it's a love story you know it's i realized how fundamentally we are we are incorrect you know we are, our thinking is incorrect so the more i realized it the more i was sure we wanted to really do it and show so yes ma'am ma uh, actually, actually i want, I want you, you to, to define, define love, love. i have read <laughs> many novels everything i have i have read I, i even i am an avid reader and even i write i i love to write so okay. i would like you to define love because if, in your story i found that piousness still untarnished it was not tarnished at all and something i found very pure because uh, you rightly said that the phone calls the internet has made it all fast and it ends so pathetically but that's all want to uh, experience once in our lifetime at least so i want you to define love for us today um bade bade haar gaye usko define karte karte i feel galib ya khalil gibran nobody has so this is something i cannot define and this is something you know like wo pyar hi kya jo definition mein aa jaye Wow. right so anything where you are thinking Sorry. ends and something else takes over is what love is for me i mean it's an element it's a substance which you can't really say this is what it is it's when you don't understand what is happening that is what it is that's what is love i feel <laughs> i mean it should blow you over you know it should make you go into pieces and go make you crazy and yet you long for it and that is love <laughs> thank you ma'am actually now i'd like to pass on to rishab now for the vote of thanks he wants to give your know, vote yeah. of thanks and thank you so much for the conversation it was mind blowing and it was kind of a relief to hear you because uh, the concepts of love the concepts of life are so much in the mind mindset of people it's like uh, overpower everybody with it but i just flit that above the clouds and that's what we find in your web series filled in every corner and every inch of it so, so thanks oh, so a good. lot thank you thank you so very <laughs> much and now i'd like on to pass on to rishi yeah. hello hi rishi Thanks a lot, ma'am, for your valuable time and sharing your experiences with us. <laughs> Thank you, Risha, for uh, inviting me. It's this is a new thing for me, and I am enjoying it. And uh, I love interacting with uh, you know new generation people. So it's it's my pleasure and honor, like I was saying. Thank you. Okay. Your voice is not coming. Okay. Okay, Rishab. Okay. Okay. 
Go!